they have any real no fingers by that side of the phone. It's a fatal flaw in the design of the phone. I'll tell you who designs these phones, men. Uh, no, not I notice it all the time on people's uh, videos. I notice it all the time. But what we have with this dog now is a decorum of off-leash, an expectation that that's just the normal behavior now. This is not some freak situation that just somehow happened. We've now shifted everything around to the point that this is normal and there's predictable things that are going to happen. What I'm not doing is saying to myself, let me see if I can take this dog out and get it to do it without the collar. That isn't what I'm saying. Let me take this dog out and reinforce over and over and over again. Oh, leashes don't mean anything. And I'm, I'm a stationary handler right now, but Callie. You know, she does have a, you know, I'm not even gonna say tractability as much as an affability that can be tapped into. So I'll tell you, this is a nice place to train dogs. Again, that needs to be, I just love this little place. Look, keep going around this little trail. You can go around here. Go down the side. Follow the yellow up brick road. Up and over the bridge. So, I, I have always, and, and this is what I want you guys to understand the difference is. Because in the beginning, I had a lot of bias towards distance. I can do some of this tight end work right now without suffering blowback of inhibition. So... If you're always doing tight and close work, you're gonna have a dog that when it's close and tight into you, is gonna have inhibition. So I wanna be really obvious about what I'm gonna do. I want her to see it coming, and she does. She does. Summer, on the other hand, is falling. She sees it coming. I'm gonna play my role down. Oh, you So I was serving up the refreshments. That's how I know I'm getting somewhere all through. This dog, all three of them, she's looking for the signs. The signs are, I'm go oh, I forgot I was behind the boat. I'm going to, unfortunately, you're probably going to see some kind of arm movement unless I go like this. I guess, yeah. I want my, <laughs> this is how I'm going to understand what I'm getting ready to do. Damn. Oh, you fish. Somehow, what she's saying to herself, somehow this chick is synced up with this collar. Somehow she synced up the Wi-Fi and we're tuned in. That's how they're thinking of it. On some level, all through, on some level, uh, I, I do consider this an enigma machine for dogs. Oh, it's, so now I do get a dog that's defaulting. I'm not gonna have any reaction, but what I can do, oh, you precious, precious devil. It's now let her know, uh, oh, we got to go above and beyond. It's not really just coming off leash. Outside that turn down. And I am. I'm going to be able to pick it up with a pager. I don't want anything to happen other than my voice in that pager. Can't we? I'm going to heal. Oh, is the meat. All right, well, we don't really have any distractions, which is kind of our goal today, but we will work that in. I'll tell you, she's doing, she's doing great. There goes. 